First, you insert the background, which is portrait segmentation. Click on the background. So the properties of the background is shown in the inspector. You change to another texture. Click import and then choose a photo. Uh, this is my first background. You can adjust the size. You duplicate the background. Right click, duplicate. Okay, the first background, you name it. We are going to name it so easy for us to do the script later. So this one, I change to BG1. I name it as BG2. Okay, for BG1, this is the photo. BG2, we change to another photo. So for BG2, I choose import from computer, choose another photo. We are going to control the visibility of BG number 2. Okay, so if you tick, untick BG number 2. Okay. Here, yeah, BG2, tick, untick. When you untick, BG1 will appear. When you tick BG2, it will cover BG1. So the script should play around with the visibility of BG number 2. Click Visual Scripting. Then you can enlarge the Visual Scripting window by undocking it. This button is to dock and undock okay so here you can right click and then add node you search for hand i choose hand detection click here begin execution left click and then drag hold drag out release you search for visibility okay, so you will control when hand is detected Target is uh, background number 2, BG2. When hand is shown, uh, background 2 become invisible. Okay, next, end. End execution. Uh, you click, left click, release. Now, again, visibility. Target is again BG number 2. Okay, so BG number 2, uh, the opposite. Now, visibility on. So when begin, it should be uh, invisible. When hand is removed, it become visible. So now you can see that the background is changing. Next, we can control the visibility of another object. Click screen image. Rename the screen image to logo. And then choose a suitable logo from the inspector. And then we are going to modify the script so that the logo is invisible when hand is shown and visible again when the hand is removed. So there are new branches that you need to add. So here I add another branch, find visibility. And then find the target is the logo. Scroll down, logo. And then another branch. When the hand is removed, you add another branch next to it. Find visibility. And then target is logo. The properties visibility is on. So this is the full script. Try the demo preview. Hand shown. Background is changed and logo is gone. Let's say we want to trigger the effect when somebody open their mouse. So what you can do is here, we already have hand detection. So we want to add another event which can trigger the same action where the background is changed. So what you can do is we can add another event, right click and then add node. So you search for facial movement detection. Under facial movement detection, there is a few 
interesting facial movement one of it is mouth open okay now how to trigger you can link this begin begin you link it to here enter okay and you can link it to here right so there are two condition where the background will be changed one is hand detection another one is facial movement when mouth is open logo is gone background is changed or another one we still can use our hand so there are two condition either hand or mouth open click submit to upload your filter one of the setting is you can give hint Okay, then you can also specify a sound effect and then submit.